You get me. What's good, everybody? It's Lario back again. Thank you for joining me. Welcome back to another video tutorial. Today, I wanted to hop into something pretty cool. Um, it's how you can turn a vocal sample or any sample for that matter into a synth, into a chord progression or into a melody using Harmer and just an audio sample. We can just hop right into it right here and I can play you the sample. Then we can go from there and open up Harmer. Cool. So I want to take that and basically turn that into some sort of synth chord progression, something like that along those lines. Um, it has a nice long first uh, like note that holds out for a pretty long time. I like to look for things like that, samples like that, especially when I'm going to make a chord progression. Um, so that no, way, no matter how long you hold that chord out, it, it'll hold that note for a pretty long time without stretching it too much. Now we can just go into here, open up Harmer. Yeah, and then we're gonna go to presets, uh, select default. Now that that's done, we can take this audio sample and we can drop it right into Harmer. Cool. Now this window opens up and this right here is your entire sample. Um, I go straight for the time knob and then you can see this little pink cursor and you can change the starting point. So let's listen through. This is gonna start right on the one. I like that starting point, and then you can adjust the speed knob. The further up you go here, the faster it gets, I believe. Yep. So we're gonna slow this down. We're gonna turn this knob up here. Sounds pretty cool. Let's go ahead and adjust the attack. So we have a slightly slower attack, that way it doesn't sound too choppy on the way in. And we wanna make sure that sustain holds out. Let's turn this volume down. Sounds pretty good. Um, yeah, wait, let's go back into Harmer real quick. <clears throat> so, in the effects tab right here, if you click this effects tab, you can go ahead and you can add a distortion. Let's try adding a distortion, maybe classic. That filters it. Here's the amount. Too much. We're just going to do a little bit here. Let's add a chorus effect. That sounds nice. Kind of spreads it out, gives it that stereo width. Spread it a little bit less. Sounds pretty good. Let's add a delay. Ping pong, I like, I'll leave it on ping pong for now. Adjust some of these. Offset. And reverb. Sounds pretty cool. Let's uh, throw it into the mixer real quick. I'm gonna add an EQ to it, and we're gonna play it with the drums. We're gonna make a melody, a chord progression, and then we're probably gonna have to EQ it a little bit more, maybe compress it, but this is just to get a nice start. Take out some lows, and maybe some highs. All right, sounds pretty cool. It's a good start. So let's mute this sample. We can keep it if we want to. If you want to get rid of it, you can, you can go ahead and get rid of that. But let's create a new pattern here. And let's loop that. Let me loop this section right here. Cool. Going to piano roll. I like that chord. Cool. 
cool. Let's uh give it that legato. Let's maybe turn it down a little bit in volume here. Listen to that, see what that sounds like for now. All right. Let's drop it down an octave. Oops. Add a little bit more variation. I'm going to double this up right here. Add a note around this section right here. I believe. sounds pretty cool for now we're just going to loop that up throw a little bit more eq like i was talking about earlier i think it's a little bit too high end heavy right here a little harsh frequencies up top and these top notes right here i think they sound good but i want to turn them down in volume so we're going to go to the piano roll turn those down a little bit Give it a little bit of stereo separation. Yeah, so that pretty much does it. Um, you can pretty much do any sound you want with this. You can take any sample. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you get me.